Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a game called Queen's Boulevard Lines SLM. And I have already played this game, and I can tell you, it is so unoriginal, and it is literally so undetailed, and so incomplete. We're also going to be exposing its creator slash owner, who has a YouTube channel called Yellow Plushy or uh, RBLX Newbie. We're going to be talking shit about him, and we're going to be exposing him at the end of the video. For now, we are currently focusing on the game. I am going to be playing this on my alt account, since my original account got banned, because I decided to criticize him. And, he wanted to be a sensitive motherfucker, who literally, who's literally more sensitive than a freaking lima bean, just because I, I was being honest about the game. Anyways, you can literally see how incomplete this game is we are currently at grand avenue and you can literally literally see how incomplete the freaking walls are the the walls oh my god they look so freaking crooked it's unbelievable and also the fact that they can't even get detail right Plus, it takes literally a long time to spawn at Roosevelt Avenue. Like, you do not want to know. You do not want to imagine how freaking incomplete and how freaking unoriginal this game is. This game literally uses all of Kenzie's models. No, like, we're talking about every single model from his R46. To his brand new R160, which I do not freaking know how the hell Yellow Pushy acquired that. But literally, judging from the <laughs> judging from the thumbnails, you can literally see how uncrooked Grand Avenue already is, and pretty much how, how how unoriginal the game is. The freaking poles, that's literally an Avion's transit pack. As well as the tunnels. Those are literally from freaking, they're literally from freaking Kermit Rail Company. Which, if you don't know, is, you know, obviously a company who, you know, makes train sets. Anyways, back on topic. The entire game is incomplete. Incomplete in detail. There's even a mistake where the wall where it's supposed to be, where the wall for the track, for the trains... At Roosevelt, they are li it's literally on the freaking platform side. Overall, this game in this game in terms of un in of originality gets a zero out of ten, as it's literally freaking, as it's literally freaking all free models, as well as well as pretty much um in terms of detail. It does it have. Heady detail. 0 out of 10 too. Now, we're also going to be exposing Yellow Plushy, which, if you don't know who that is, he's a YouTuber, well, a YouTube shorts creator, actually, who makes, who makes cringy-ass content, such as, I bet I can make you say, I bet I can make you say, you know, this, you know, I bet I can make you say content, or content related to Roblox that you would see on YouTube Shorts. Now, what pro what most of you probably don't know is that this YouTuber, who has over 553,000 subscribers and is verified, got banned from PTA for sexual assault allegations. He even, he even admitted it in a screenshot that I took about a few months ago. Another thing is, he is he will literally fucking ban you if you say anything about his game. For example, he did this to about two to three other play about two to two other players, including me. That's how sensitive he is. He will literally freaking ban you if you say crap about his game. Huh. <laughs> I can tell you that's North Korea for sure. Literally, do not play this game unless if you're a freaking five year old who actually thinks this is cool. From the music, from the trailer to the thumbnails, 
you can tell it is all shit. I do I recommend you do not freaking play this game. And if you do, I am so sorry for you being so freaking stupid to play a game that has no originality. That'll be all for today's video. Subscribe and su and such. Bye. He knows all the routes, he's the best of it.